Um, what we have, I think, gotten into uh, in terms of like the culture and the uh, social media, electronic, Insta, everything is, I don't want to do theater. I don't want to be a singer. I don't want to be a dancer. I want to do musical theater because I can do all three together. And there is a misconception that this is a shortcut. Where in reality, I think if you are truly a triple threat, you actually in your training are a quadruple threat. Um, first and foremost, you are always an actor first, but you have studied and have utmost appreciation for what it means to be a straight theater actor, what it means to be the strongest, most technically trained dancer you can be, and what it is to be the smartest, most efficient and healthy vocalist you can be. Should you choose to go on to the next part of the art form, which is incorporating them as an actor first, that's when you actually are in your best place to pursue musical theater successfully. In a typical year program, especially if you are in my classes, um, you're gonna spend the majority of your time the first quarter getting your base as an actor. We spend a lot of time in monologue work, we spend a lot of time in scene work, we spend a lot of time in just getting command of your body, getting command of your breath, and what it means to be a character and, and have command of the language and the writing of a piece, period. Whether you're singing it or speaking it. When we go into the second quarter, we get more into what is it like to come into an audition, into a callback, asking that you handle scene work, monologue work, also being handed a piece of music that you need to deliver, and then also being taken through a dance combination. One of the big things that I am very passionate about and that I ask is that if you're going to take my musical theater classes, you need to especially be in a separate acting class and dance class for fundamentals, for technique, so that when you come to my class, you can incorporate that and lead as an actor.